Hi everyone, Kim Stewart here with this week's Moon Card Reading. So as you come on, jump out and say hi. We are in the new moon phase, so happy new moon. Of course we had the all-powerful Lion's Gate on the weekend, the 8th of the 8th, which is a very powerful window portal, however you want to speak that, around um, really setting our strong intentions as to where we want, hey Tammy, nice to see you, where we want to go from here. You know, who do we want to be and what do we want to have? What do we want to create? So as always, you know, we there's so much more going on than we often are aware about and you know to be able to Tarika hello it's lovely to work with the energies that are out there and particularly um, this new moon has got lots of potency to it so taking the time to take out your journal and writing out your intentions you know intentions keep us um keep us focused thank you for that correction <laughs> i appreciate it um keep us focused on moving forward you know i set um yearly intentions i set monthly cycle intentions i set weekly intentions and i set daily intentions and i write them all down i write them you know at the top of my diary i do have a paper diary i also use um, google calendar because I love the efficiency of that when I'm out and about. Um, but I also, when I'm in my office, I love to look down at the paper. Um, I'm very accountable to my DMO, so I still write that down every day so I know that, um, you know, I'm accountable to me. So setting my intentions also really has me focused. If I've set the bar here for the day, and I'm looking at that, I'm unlikely to leave the office um, without having completed and honoured that intention. That's what builds faith and belief in ourselves when we do that. Hey, Catherine, nice to see you. So, um, yeah, as I mentioned, we are in the new moon phase. So beautiful time to be writing down exactly what you want to focus on. And, you know, it doesn't just have to be business or career related. It can be all aspects of your life, you know, often I'll write down something about, um, you know, pay a little bit more attention to this child or, um, you know, whatever, family member, whatever it is. So, you know, and I always go back and have a look at the end of the week before I leave the office on Friday. I finish up at lunchtime on a Friday and I always go and check what I had set out as an intention for myself. Have I completed that? and you know be accountable so um, work with the energies that are out there let's have a look and see what the cards oh there it is there jumping out for us today so we've got balance <clears throat> coming up here and this card is always is also about the extremes so finding that equilibrium it is about you know doing um, enough action taking enough action but also balancing it with being with making sure that we're having time to check in with ourselves see where we're at how is our body feeling what adjustments do we need to make to be able to bring ourselves back into alignment and we can feel that alignment when we pay attention to that so you know do what you need to do to bring that into balance and we you know we all know so it's about um, not kidding ourselves and being really really honest with ourselves about that so creating that balance okay so we are going to now put it over to doing some card readings for each of you so Catherine you've requested a card and hi Carrie nice to see you that prompts me to remember that you know we've got in just an hour we've got our women's circle that happens um, we meet once a month on zoom and <clears throat> we talk all things connected spiritual what's happening in our relationships what's coming up for us we create a circle of strength to support each other there's no right or wrong it's just a matter of um, you know supporting each other in a safe 
and sacred space Heidi definitely so if anybody wants to know more about that hey Trish nice to see you hi Fua absolutely Trish um, then let me know and I'll definitely pass on the information to Rika okay so let's get on we'll get started so Catherine let's see what's coming up for you today protection okay so this is um, remembering and if you look up and I'm seeing I'm getting quite a lot of energy so Catherine I'm actually going to speak to a past over loved one that's coming through on this energy I feel like it's feminine energy um, so maybe it's somebody that's been wanting to connect with you now I want to reassure you this is coming from a space of support and love so um, and to let you know that they're there for you so I'm just going to have a look and see um, if you know who I'm talking about it's not usually the way we go with these but you know what <laughs> if this is what's coming through this is what's coming through um Tarika yes please more info on the I had a feeling I sent you an email Tarika um, I definitely looked at your um, email address so I'll let you know I'll send you through the information as soon as we get off from here so Catherine I'm talking to you at the moment can you please pop in a comment do you know who the past over loved one is that I'm talking about at the moment I'm just gonna wait for Catherine to answer that question because it's relevant um, and I'll just write a note to myself about Tarika while I'm there. Okay. Oh, okay, beautiful. So she's just really wanting to let you know that she's there and that she is, you know, of course she's watching over you and your family. Oh, that's really sweet. <laughs> Just allow yourself to feel that so I know you know this but she really wanted to remind you of this so whether you're actually um, challenged by something at the moment and you've almost forgotten you know that that she's there and she's supporting you always um, and also have the connection with her have the conversation with her she's really there um, she's got all the time and space in the world to be there for you so that's a beautiful message coming through um, I hope that lands for you talk to your mum more <laughs> she's there waiting to speak with you Caroline did I write you down absolutely you can have a card um resend i will resend it trick what i'll do is i'll pop you into our we have a private facebook messenger group and i'll add you to that and then you can get the link um for that all righty where are we going carry there it is <laughs> howling at the moon and I've got a feeling that this has come up before for you so um, this that that really expressing of yourself in that way that you are like your beautiful sensitive soul and you have this strength inside of you um, you know that um, you know look at the what you do in the gym it just whew, astounds me so remembering that part of you too and blending that part that your voice is worthy of being heard and um, to really you know to really allow that to come out in that passionate way and I believe that you are more and more but just stay the energy is staying with that connection of that feeling of the howling at the moon 
hope that assists. Okay, just visited her when I was back in New Zealand two weeks ago. Thank you, I feel her now. Beautiful. Oh, that's really beautiful. We'll keep that connection flowing. Um, Lisa, I'm going to put you down. We'll see how we go for time. And Danielle, you also. Been thinking about you, Danielle. And Tammy, I think I did write you down. You're welcome, Carrie. Tammy, I did. Are there two Tammies in here? Let me go back because was that you that asked early on? Yeah, I've got you down, Tammy. Um, Heidi. Gorgeous, supportive Heidi. Whenever I uh, feel, you know, often when I feel the energies of the person I'm about to pull the card for, words will come into my head and I often sit with them. But, uh, yeah, they're the words. Beautiful, supportive Heidi that we're coming through. And supportive doesn't mean forgetting about yourself in the process. So let's see what the card has today. Just moving those around a little bit. Mm. how they come yes look at that beautiful your queenness so the sovereignty of you you are an individual and part of what you do is support and help others but that's not all of who you are so remembering your queenness you know when you you straighten your back and you've got your you've anchored in your core and you're feeling at your most powerful who are you, what are you doing, and what are you not doing that you would like to be doing? Because I have a sense of that others become more important than you at times. And if there's anything that this new portal that's occurred over the weekend, the Lion's Gate, is about each of us being in our queenness. We all have the power to offer our unique gifts and talents out in the world. And yes, it can be scary. I can remember when, you know, I first was doing these readings online and I set myself the challenge to do it every day so that I got over myself quickly because that's only my ego coming in going, what if people think, what if they, you know, do, 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 do. But it's, we've got to start. We've got to start and we've got to, um, build our confidence in and our belief and our knowing and the only way we do that is by doing it so whatever that is for you Heidi it's just like there's this little voice there that has a desire to be being and offering something that maybe gets put on the back burner i want you to talk about that i want you to have a conversation with that part of yourself because that's your offering out into the world too and it's just as important as everything else well i hope that that makes sense for you okay trish nice to see you here Oh, and it's jumping. Yeah, fruition. How nice. So what I was thinking, um, what was coming through then as I was shuffling for you is um, I was wondering whether there was some turbulence in your life. And it's okay. You know, the turbulence has, um, has purpose, right? I remember when um, my children were at the Steiner School and, and we would do biodynamic gardening and you would we would make this special um oh, what is it called it doesn't matter what it's called but it was a beautiful fertilizer that went um into the earth and um somebody will remember what it is doesn't matter but what you would do would be you would stir it this way and you would stir it that way to create the chaos to bring the energy to energize 
um, the mixture and it feels a bit like um, that's what perhaps is occurring a little bit for you right now which of course when things get stirred up it means that we get to connect and be more convicted to that which we deeply desire so don't let anybody else get in the way of your heart's desire because you're on the right track and look at the bountiful abundance that she is wearing you know right there and notice it's full moon so just pay attention keep going with what you're going i hope that really assists you today oh heidi that's great and you know where to reach me if you need to tease anything out at all at any time. All right, Tarika. Oh, look at that. <laughs> jumping, jumping. Okay, gratitude. Remembering that this is not a solo journey, right? Even though at times we might feel like we are... You know, I know, I know you're a super grateful person. Making sure that you're keeping up with your practice of what you're grateful for every day and remembering that, look at that hand coming down from the heavens that's really offering that support for you. So remember to acknowledge that um, every step of the way. That's what, it's just like, that's the underlining at the at this point in time is the gratitude. Continue on that pathway of gratitude. Write your gratitudes down. You know, speak them out loud when you're driving in the car. Share them, and not from that overly gushy place, but from that heartfelt place of genuine gratitude. Spend time in that space in your meditations. That's the guidance for you today. Okay, Tammy. All right, we have a realization. Have you noticed anything new? Have you had a new idea come to pass over the last couple of days? So Tammy, this is where I want you to respond to this because this is a, let's tease this out a little bit more. And of course, uh, the comments are a little bit delayed, so we'll just give it some space. While I'm waiting for that, um, the lives will be pushed back to this time from here on in. I'm participating in um, something that, that takes up the 10 a.m. time slot, Sydney, um, for the next little while. So it will be at 11 o'clock at this time. Ah, okay, beautiful. All right, and I just got lots of goosebumps around that. Be gentle with it and... Um, Put that into action so that's really the guidance coming through for you and if there's some shifts that are occurring there make sure you've got good support and I don't mean um, you know a whole bunch of girlfriends that have got different experiences themselves but somebody that really resonates with your story where you're at and what you're wanting to do could be in a I don't know if it's a an ending or a beginning could be either whatever that is for you trust in your own intuition it's really important for you now okay Trika thank you that's beautiful space to be in gratitude and generosity my blessings rain on you thank you my love all righty Caroline so that's an unusual card for you because you are an action woman in fact you know whenever I feel into your energy it's often about that you're such a doer that you do so much so the action is inspired action okay so any inspirations um, that are coming through um, you're welcome, Tammy. Inspirations that are coming through for you to make adjustments in your routine. Oh, that was pretty clear, wasn't it? 
So inspirations that are coming through for you to make adjustments in your routine. This is like, yep, 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 do that, do that, do that. So um, I'm hoping that something's come through for you, feeling confused and need more guidance. Tammy, okay. Well, um, book some time with me if that will be helpful for you. Um, find I'll find the um, Calendly link for you and you can pop in, book some time if you want some more clarity on that. Um, so Caroline, um, yeah, let's talk about that for a minute and I'll find the link while I'm doing that for Tammy. I just want to know if something, some guidance has come through on shifting your uh, routine in some way. Okay, I'm just popping that link in for you there. Tammy? Okay. Caroline, where have you gone? She might have popped off. Okay, so I'll just, for the purpose of the recording, so Caroline, um, that was very clear information. So it's inspired action that has been coming through or is coming through for you around changes to your routine. That's a definite go for it. Make those changes back yourself. Okay. Lisa. If anybody has anybody in here that fear, they feel would love to be part of this group, please, um, you know, send them an invite. Let them know about the group. They will need approving, but if somebody from in the group has suggested that, then um, I'll always approve them. So, Lisa, there it is. Let's see what it is. Extremes. So this is kind of coming back to the original card that we pulled for the group here. So have you been swinging one way or the other? So meaning, have you been, you know, doing work, work, work and no play? Or have you been play, play, play and not enough work? Have you been um, focusing a lot on yourself and maybe not connecting with um, friends and family? Have you been connecting with friends and family? and not connecting with yourself. Whatever, where you've been there, it's asking for you. That was quick, Tammy, I got that. <laughs> um, so that um, is asking for you to bring some balance uh, back around that. So I'm gonna wait there and see if you've got an inkling as to what that is. You can, Danielle, yeah, absolutely. So just look at what the opposites. Where do you feel like you've been giving more there? And this is this is needing a bit more attention. There's no right or wrong. This is not an opportunity to berate yourself or beat yourself up in any way. That is such a wasted energy. It's just the universe saying, hey, can we just spend a little bit of energy back over here? So I'm sure you'll have an intuition on that as to what that is. All right. Danielle Martin. We are with you. A bit busy. Okay, right. Perfect. So then there's no you time. Where's you? Got to carve it out. Put it in the diary. Even if it's for an hour. Go have a massage. Do so or you probably can't do a massage, can you? Because you're in lockdown. Um, what can you do? Bathroom got a lock on it. Make yourself a beautiful Epsom salts bath and light some candles. Give yourself a facial. Put some beautiful music on. Put your headphones on. Listen to a podcast. You know, do some meditation. Just tell them for you to be able to give to all of them, you require a bit of time for yourself. And by verbalizing that to your family, it gives them permission to take good care of themselves as well. Okay. All right, Daniel Martin. Danielle Martin. This is self-love, self-care. Be gentle. Things 
have shifted and changed obviously for you so um, be gentle with that remind yourself of what you want it doesn't have to be hard you can keep going down that pathway again this is a reminder of you you are an individual and whilst you can be loyal there and you can be supportive there and you can do all of that come back to what your truth is what do you really want that's part of self-love is honoring your unique journey and being prepared to back yourself on that so i hope that really assists you i'm sending you love i've been thinking about you and you know where to reach me if uh, i can assist you at all okay now we're going to danielle let me just read that thanks for the message kim i will make time for me good 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 it's essential you can't keep giving like that at that level it's intense so yeah you've got to fill the cup occasionally daily okay danielle porter we have resilience so what burden are you carrying around that you could be putting down so i'm getting big sister energy older feminine energy so oh is this lineage is this something that's coming from your lineage that you're carrying hmm and what comes up here is shame is there shame is there some kind of shame that you're carrying around and it's like it's been carried down the line so this is where you journal really and really honor honor the story and please everybody take note of this remember we only ever make decisions based on the information that we have at the time and that includes all of our ancestors i've you've got to believe and i believe that even if it seems like it was a really crappy decision it was still the best decision that they could make at that time it was the best decision my past self could make at any given time so we must let that go let that go and believe you me i've worked on shame a lot with my story with my family's story so whatever that is for you be gentle about it journal it again and create some kind of ritual again i'm getting a really nice bath or even a little fire um, you know sage cleansing really beautiful things to do if you're releasing and letting something go okay i really hope that assists you all right i think we have covered everybody um this time seems to work really well so maybe the universe has shifted the time for a good reason um it's lovely to connect with all of you remember we're in the new moon building phase so be gentle with your intentions treat them like new little shoots that are coming out from the ground after the winter so be gentle with them nurture them and take good care of them and allow them to blossom whatever that is for you and i'm here if you need me um, if i can assist in any way shape or form i will Tarika, I will get on to that, um, giving you the Women's Circle link for today. Um, anybody that's here, I will see you in half an hour on Zoom for our Women's Circle. Otherwise, I'll see you again next week. Lots of love, everybody. Bye for now.